want to hear another that. story? Yes. Mom, tell him the other story about the Let phone call. This. Where you told Brian to pick up the phone. Oh, I had talked to a guy out of Kentucky. Yeah. And he had lost his wife and shit, and I'd lost my husband. Brian come in, well, this guy told him, leave me alone. Brian come in, and he says, uh, hi, Mom, and I told him, answer the phone. He picked up the damn phone and told this guy, I know how I can, how to get rid of people. Where Whoa. nobody can find them. And he said, I can have a thousand screaming Harleys surrounding your house. In remind, no time at all. Remind me never to fuck with Mama Abraxas. I will not fuck with you because I will come up fucking missing. Who do you think Dad is afraid of Mama Abraxas? Hell no. Damn, you're a badass woman. You are Tell a him badass story. woman. And this guy, he had pictures of me. Uh -oh. Someone called that had hacked his computer and told me to tell that guy to leave me the hell alone. And I think it was either the cartel. What? Or it was one of these big uh, CIA or something after his ass. So you're then, telling me, so you're telling me you're, know the cartel and the CIA too? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Yes. I, and I, it just... <laughs> I, I, ain't fucking, I am not messing nope. with Mama of Brexit. You know the cartel. You know the fucking... Uh, uh, fucking the, yeah. I don't know none of them. But the, why are they protecting the you? The was real nice. They were very polite in the whole nine yards. Who, the cartel? They're never yeah. nice. They're going to take your happy ass out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. I, I ain't fucking. Chris, everything I've ever said bad about you or whatever, I apologize. Please accept my apology, and I will never, ever say anything bad about you. Your but mom scares the living hell out of me. I ain't fucking with you. No, it's never. just the idea Brian took care of everything for me. I'm sure he did. Take well, care the of thing everything. is, Brian's my son, Chris's older brother. Oh, my intelligent brother, one. My bad, my bad. The intelligent one. My brother was in uh, the Blue Angels at that time, MMC out of Jackson, Michigan. There was 13 but, motorcycle clubs that come to my husband's memorial. You know, most definitely, I'm so happy. That you guys are my family because you're wigging fucking lunatic dad out, and it doesn't. It takes a lot to do that and everything else. But woman, you are all that and a fucking bag of chips, and, and whatever you want, whatever you say, lunatic dad will just obey. Period. <laughs> I will you guys obey. heard it first here. Lunatic dad scared of a seventy-four year old woman. Yes, I am. Have you not heard the shit coming out of her mouth? Wouldn't you be scared, too? No. Yes. That's because you're fucked up, too. It ain't my damn fault. <laughs> Hell no. Not no. no, I didn't say she is. I said you. I didn't say nothing against that beautiful woman. She'll whoop your ass. That's okay. Yeah, it wasn't me that could get the thousand screaming Harleys and shit. It was my son. His friends. Yes, mommy. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I that's apologize what the Blue everybody. Angels called me too, as mom. Okay, well, your mom, and and as I said before, you shut lunatic dad the fuck down. Whatever. You I know do, a couple people in the house angels that's like that with me, but oh great! I, I, I now I, I hang out with a bunch of fucking thugs. What the fuck? Hey, you know what? He all, okay, so Dad went to prison for robbing a bank. He spent 15 years in prison for robbing a bank at gunpoint. Why did he only get 15 years? Because they could not find the money. Yeah. You, you can find the bodies, but you can't find the money. Oh, <laughs> you genius. Want to <laughs> fucking genius. We got friends that belongs to a sister club of the Hells Angels. Is it a bunch of crazy women? 
<laughs> nah. Oh, what's the this? This is the club? Milan Road Angels. One of the members oh, the before Milan. he passed was Bobby Ritchie's uncle. Man. You know who Bobby Ritchie is, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. No, but 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 no, I don't want to know who Bobby Ritchie is. I don't want to know the Hell hey, Angels. Rob, I don't want to know the Hell Benjamin. I don't want to know the Blue Angels. I don't want to know the Lady Angels. I ain't fucking with you people. How about will... the Ghost Riders? Hey, the Ghost Riders. That I I heard about the Ghost Riders, but is my that brother's damn... a member of them. Well, it's another bike club. Well, you can be a, one of the a... clubs that was at my husband's memorial service. Hail to all of you, <laughs> lunatic dad, bow but... down. In nothing but love. Nothing yeah, but love. Uh, Kumbaya, please don't have me fucking killed. <laughs> Kid, Rock, Kid Rock's uncle was a member of the Milan Road Angels. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, Roger. He was also our next door neighbor when we lived in Ipsy. Yeah, is there a way that they can go ahead and uh, give us hair on top of our bald heads and stuff? I mean, do they have No, because 90% of them don't have hair on the top of their heads. They won't skin somebody for me if I ask them? Probably not. Oh, what the fuck? Then what use are you to me then? If I can't at least have some protection. I need protection. You're supposed to protect me. I'm old. You got to protect the old one. Remember you always say I'm the old one. It's like, you know, like the, what the you Star Wars, like what's that, that guy? Well, green guy? Let's put it this name? way. You are the old one. She is the ancient one. But she is the badass one that Lunatic Dad will not fuck with. Hell no. I know my place. I know my place in this pecking order. It goes, Abraxas, you're last, by the way. Lunatic Froggy, we're going from bottom up. Then then we're going to go ahead and do Scotty Too Hotty. And then we're going to do Missy. And then we're going to do Lunatic Dad. And then we're going to go ahead and have the most dangerous of them all, <laughs> Mama Abrexis. That is, to me, gold right there. And people, if you haven't seen it by now, don't fuck with this woman. You're going to come up missing or or <laughs> something yeah. bad's going to happen. Something bad will happen. I know this. I know this to be fact. I mean, let's put it this way. And you know, the thing that's funny about this, I have to say this. I can get it off my mind because, you know, I go a little senile sometimes. She, she sits there on the video, right? Now picture this. She sits there on the video. Oh, so nice and innocent, petting the doggy, doggy, doggy. And she's saying, oh, by the way, I know the hell henchmen. I'll get you fucking taken out, motherfucker. Oh, nice puppy, nice puppy. And if you piss me off, I'm going to take out your whole fucking family. All right, mom, we're good. We're good. Go back to petting the fucking dog because I don't want to get you upset. <laughs> Just, nice. Just remember, I know how to hide a body, too. That's the problem. That, that this is a problem. The, do you not notice that this could be an issue or something? I mean, it could be. Could be an issue. Just saying. As long as you don't hide my body, okay? No. We won't okay. hide your body. We won't touch your body. Oh, Froggy. See, I thought you were going to touch my body. What I'll that? touch your body all the time. Yeah, she does touch my body all you the time. You want to know something? Yes. In that way, we won't touch your body to where we have to hide it. <laughs> That's not what you told me when you came and visited me and your mom wasn't watching and everything else. I know what you were touching. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know what I'm... you were touching too. I know what you were licking. Do you not see I'm not denying this? I'm agreeing with you. Yes, I did do all these things. I, but I do need you to come clean also what you were doing to me behind closed doors. Admit I told to him. Oh. I told he him put I a broomstick in my ass. <laughs> I told him I a broom handle up your ass. You did. You did. And that's fact. You did do that. And everybody always thinks that when we do a live stream, that when I say that, they're like, no, 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 no. No, he did. He put a broomstick right up my candy ass. <laughs> I also admit But it did you enjoy it? You, oh, listen, girl, that was the best fucking, man. It'd be like, you know, the tilter world. Just fucking put that stick he up there and I'll rotate around. He enjoys it even without lube on it. No. Well, no, no. I didn't because some of the splinters <laughs> got stuck in my asshole. And it, it was the son of a bitch when I took a shit and everything else. The damn, it hurt coming out. And I blamed you for my first painful shit. A breakfast paranormal hurt lunatic dad's ass. It's all your fault. All your fault. 100%. You okay? Yeah. Give me a second. 
His okay. mouth is hurting him. Well, thank you for coming to this beautiful live uh, video recording and everything else. Peace. Ended. Bye. It was great. <laughs>